<laughs> I'm not the uncle he was talking about before. That's his other. That's my other sister. <laughs> I'm 72 years old, Woo! Yeah. and I'm not old. I got plenty of energy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I walk my dog every day, twice a day for two hours. Okay. All right, should only be an hour and a half, but you know that dog stops every 10 minutes so I can pee. <laughs> Now, at 72, I rarely know what day it is. I mean, just last Monday morning, I got up and I got dressed for church. Getting dressed for church on Monday morning. That's stupid. I don't go to church on Monday morning. I'm Jewish. I don't go to church at all. At my age, any minor malady could be a death sentence or just gas. And I'm deathly afraid of having a stroke. And last Saturday, I've been wearing my contacts all day. My eyes are tired, so I put on my glasses. As soon as I did that, everything went blurry. Oh no, it's the big one. It's a stroke. But I knew that if I got to the hospital in time, there was a shot that would save my life. So I raced to the hospital. Doctor took me right away, took one look at me and said, Son, can't give you the shot. You can't. You can't give it a shot. Why? Why? And am I too late? He says, no, son, you're too stupid. Take your contacts out before you put your glasses on. <laughs> My adult kids, for some reason, give me no respect at all. You know, they say things to me like, My house, my rules. It's still COVID out there. Wear a mask. And Dad, stop fidgeting. We're trying to change your diaper. You may have not noticed this, but there are too many NIMBY liberals in D.C. You know what I'm talking about. They're all for Black Lives Matter until somebody wants to put affordable housing in their neighborhood and they're like, not my backyard. Right. They're all for defund the police until there's a homeless person on their front lawn and they're the first one to call 911. And they're all for gender fluidity until they screw up their pronouns on Tinder and the first date is a gender reveal. I, 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 she finally got it. I do love living in D.C. except, you know, it's so expensive. You wouldn't believe what it costs these days to buy a politician. And they're not worth it. Both D.C. and Georgia, politicians have tweeted that Jews control the weather. Come on. We haven't been able to control the weather since we left Egypt the first time. And I'll tell you a little secret. If we really had that superpower, we'd just keep Manhattan a toasty 78 degrees. Jews and misery, Jews and misery. We go together throughout our history. We just love being dour. We get sadder by the hour. And I don't care what Skeezy and those other anti-Semites say. We do not control the banks. We do not control Hollywood. And good golly, Miss Molly, we did not sink the Titanic. That was an iceberg, not a gold bird. I hate the fact that just because I'm over 70, people think that I'm old. That on the subway, pregnant women give me their seat. And my only pickup line is help by falling like, get up. Because you see, old age is attitude, not a number. Well, unless you're pushed out of your job because of your age. And it's a slow tumble, you lose your job, you lose all sense of purpose. Before you know it, you are sitting in death's waiting room. Gaithersburg. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mark Palchuk. Thank you very much. I'm the other one.